What's up guys, it's the old ninja one, Aviators and Superior. I'm bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Today I'm actually matching, got that Flash shirt and the Flash hat on, but this video actually has nothing to do with Flash. It actually has something to do with the video I posted uh, maybe two days ago or a day ago, something like that, where we designed our own throwing eyes. Or actually, we didn't design them. Um, you guys did, so all the people on my Discord did. So I have a contest once a month, and so if you want to get involved and design the next weapon or the next uh, gadget that I review on this channel and that we make and even sell on this channel, uh, stay tuned till the end of the video and I'll give you more details on that. But first, we're going to test out our new 3D printed throwing knife and see just how well it actually works. Okay, so I want to test out a couple different factors of this knife. The first factor being our straight throw, meaning it doesn't actually turn in the air, it just goes straight through the air. And the second one being our tumble throw, meaning it tumbles through the air when you throw it. Uh, the straight throw, I feel, is more viable in a combat scenario because you don't have to worry about um, you know, how close your target is or uh, how close they're going to be when it hits and stuff like that. It always sticks because it's always going straight. However, the tumble throw, I find, has a lot more power in it when you get it going in the right way. So if you know your exact distance, if you know exactly where you want to hit and the distance you are, and, you know, if you're experienced, you can do this in your head. So it's not that big a deal. It's just, you know, a personal preference. But first, straight throwing. Okay, so going with our straight throwing test, let's try it out. <laughs> that feels good. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. It slides onto the hand really nicely, really smoothly, and it doesn't like, uh, it doesn't like catch it, so you don't have to worry about it. It's not sharp on the engine because again, it's 3D printed. It's technically a prop weapon, so you don't have to worry about it, you know, cutting you for when you're learning how to throw a knife. But it also stays balanced really well when you do the throw. So, let's try it again. So the knife does stay pretty straight and it's pretty easy to throw and easy to learn for beginners. I stuck this knife most of the times I threw it. Not every time because I'm not perfect, but most of the time. But don't miss and make sure you hit your target because if you're hitting a harder target, because this is not metal, it doesn't stand up to ricochets and mess ups. So so as you can see, I actually broke the circular bit off of the end of this one right here, so it doesn't um, hold up quite as well. Oh, that's a lot of damage! However, it still throws just as nicely with that bit off. <laughs> However, now we're going to do the tumble throw to see just how well it works like that. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's actually, that's actually pretty, pretty smooth. So the knife actually tumbles really smoothly and hits the target very well. Personally, I think this is a great practice and stunt weapon. For those of you guys wanting to make fight scenes and um, stuff where you're um, using throwing knives and knives to fight in combat against people, this isn't going to hurt. This is not going to hurt you when you get hit by it. It's not going to cut you when you get rubbed by it. So it's a really good weapon to use, a really good knife to use when you're trying to do stunt fighting. Just paint it in the right colors that, you, that work for whatever you're going for and bang, there you go, some stunt fights. It also works for practicing, for if you're learning how to throw. You, I don't like teaching people on live blades. It makes it a lot scarier for them, and because they're afraid of the weapon, it oftentimes can lead into them getting hurt because they're afraid of dealing with the weapon. However, with this, it allows you to um, practice with something that will stick into soft targets like styrofoam or boxes or stuff like that, and will allow you to get the motion how to actually throw it, because as someone that's been throwing knives um, for a relatively long time, throwing this one is the exact same. The weight is the exact same. The only difference is that the metal ones are a little heavier. That's it. If you are interested in getting one of these for yourself, we're actually giving out 10 of these. We're selling 10 of these. It's a limited edition. If you want more and if you guys sell out, 
uh, then we might sell more later, but for right now, we're just selling tin. So if you're interested, jump on Discord and ask Joel Messenger how you can get yours. Okay, this is me totally forgetting that I have to talk and tell you guys how to enter um, your, your ideas into the next contest. So, um, if you want to enter the next contest, first thing you have to do is subscribe to this channel and join my Discord because all of the info and all the actual subscription or submission location stuff is on Discord. Now, you have to have a idea. It could be an, a knife. It could be this for this month. It's an avatar themed idea. It could be a knife, boomerang, any type of weapon, armor, mask. It could be a special type of whistle, a musical instrument, literally anything that you th can think of that fits in the theme of avatar the last airbender or legend of korra hence you know avatar month going on right now wow. however with that said there are some restrictions that you have to consider it is 250 centimeters uh in every direction so it can't be too more than you know that much or that big in any direction so you have to keep it within that size and in order to submit it you have to submit it on my discord we have a special channel for anyone that is submitting it's it's atla um discord design contest so if you want to get involved uh links are down in the description you can join my discord you can join all that stuff and uh if you have any questions just let me know i'm always checking discord and so is joel messenger and some of the other great mods they all help me out a ton and will do their best to help you out as well if you're interested now don't forget to do all that youtube stuff because it really does help me out i really do appreciate it and without further ado my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out.